Good morning. Shall we pray? Our loving Heavenly Father, we want to thank you and praise you for the amazing love you have for us, the vastness of which we will never understand. We thank you that your love is unconditional and that you loved us so much that you sent your own beloved son Jesus to this world to die an horrific death so that we might be able to have a relationship with you. We thank you too that we are able to turn to you at all times for help with both the small and the big problems. We thank you for the glorious sunsets that we have seen over recent evenings, for the snowdrops which are now in flower, for the extra daylight that we now have. All these things are an encouragement and a reminder that spring will soon be here. Father, once again, I bring to you those who are affected by the current pandemic. We thank you that 10 million people have now been vaccinated and that we are told by the government's chief medical officer, Chris Whitty, that we are now past the peak of the current wave of the pandemic, although infection rates are still high. We thank you for all those in the NHS who are working so hard every day to help all those who are suffering with COVID-19. We pray for all those who are unwell and in hospital. We pray for the lady on my cousin's COVID ward who has a daughter with severe dis disabilities and is frightened that if she dies, who will care for her? Father, there must be many more people who have the same fears. We pray for those who have lost loved ones. I heard of a family who have lost six family members to COVID. How awful it must be to have your family decimated in this way. We pray for the family of the owner of the hardware store in Dark Slane, who passed away recently from COVID-19, and for his wife who, at the last time I heard, was still in hospital. We think of those who will find Valentine's Day difficult this year, as their Valentine is no longer with them. Please comfort them, we pray. We pray for those who are struggling during lockdown due to mental health problems and those who are finding life a struggle as they have lost their business or job. We pray for those who work for the DWP as assessments for benefits cannot be made face to face at present and so the assessments are happening via the telephone. This does not give the person who is assessed the chance to have someone with them as is usually the case and being interviewed in this way can be stressful for some people. As a result, there is more chance of people being turned down for a benefit that they are entitled to, as, as has recently happened to someone I know. And I've also read of a lady who took her own life due to the DWP making many mistakes regarding her claim. I thank you that we have a benefit system and I do understand that the DWP must be extremely overworked at this time, but many people who claim are vulnerable and so I pray for wisdom for those who do the assessments. Father, we thank you now for the life of Julie. We thank you that her funeral service was so lovely and we were able to hear people speaking of her with such affection. We thank you that Judy was such an amazing witness and showed your love to everyone. How lovely it was to hear Alison's friend Kerry tell us how she used to visit Julie and Julie would talk to her about you and how she, Kerry, came to know the Lord the month that Julie passed away. I remember Julie telling me about Kerry's visits as I'm sure she told other people. We pray for Alice and John and the boys as they mourn the loss of Julie. We pray too for the family of Captain Tom who passed away earlier this week. What an amazing man who fought in Burma during the war and then at the age of 100 raised so much money for the NHS. We think now of our church family. We pray for all those who are unwell and those who are facing difficult situations. We pray for those who are beginning to struggle during this current lockdown and for those who feel lonely and shut in. We thank you, Father, for all that Joel does to motivate us and we pray for him, Vicky, Caleb and Faith. 
We pray that in the coming months you will lead us forward. Help us to listen for your still, small voice. And I ask these things in Jesus' precious name. Amen.